guys so here is a quick and simple breakfast from the dollar tree i'm just going to take some of this luncheon loaf and fry it and then fry like an egg or two so i'll bring Thanks you guys along. first good morning this is my second cup y'all so what i'm going to do is this little thing here come from dollar tree and you have to use this to open it up. If y'all haven't never tried this, and I can't really remember. Oh. Can't really remember how to do this. I haven't done it in years. Okay. Do you want to crack my nails? So I think you just take it. Let's see. Can't remember how to do it. We'll figure it out. But oh no, it's this way. See, so you have this. I thought you put it through that hole. So you put it through this little small one and twist it. Like so. And then it opens right up. So this is perfect for dirty keto. I'm doing um, the dirty keto and just cook you up, fry you up some of this and some eggs. You can add fruit to it and that's what. And it literally comes right out. First things first, y'all. I'm gonna just spray some of this um, canola spray in here. And cut these up and thin. I haven't had this in ages. I couldn't tell you how long it's been since I've had this stuff. So you can get this stuff at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. Somebody was comparing it kind of to spam. Or wait, no, I think that was the <clears throat> the Walmart version of spam. Tastes like spam, supposedly, or just I think better is what they said. I don't know. I'm not ate spam in ages. So that's literally all you do. So I'm just gonna fry this up and then get it fried up and then in the same pan I'm going to um, fry my eggs, yo. Okay, now let's turn this on. this cook so that is fine up I actually had this um what is this stuff called? Spam or crap? I don't even know. Um, anyways, I had this in my pantry for like, just to put back to save. And I'm like, that looks pretty good this morning. So I cracked into some of it and give it a try. So for $1.25 for that, and then $1.25 for your egg, you're just gonna have a quick breakfast. And if you want bread, you'll have to get the bread, but I'm not eating the bread, so. So for $2.50, you can have, actually you could have I made one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven slices. So that would probably get you through about two days for breakfast. 
so it's a cheap way of saving and a cheap way of eating breakfast. Quick and simple. So, I hope everybody's doing good. I look like a hot mess. We had a football game last night, um, and I didn't get back till super late. And then, last night, <clears throat> I haven't had one of those heart spells in forever. And last night, I had the first one, and it, it was rough. Like, it, it was rough. Um, I woke up, couldn't breathe, and it was like, my heart was just racing up probably gone about 350 or more and couldn't breathe felt funny and I know to calm down if I don't calm down then it triggers it off that much more because I have SVT and so I um, just kind of calmed down and then I could feel my heart rate like drop to about low like 70 60 and then it would shoot back up finally it just quit but yeah it was pretty rough but my doctor's thinking sleep sleep apnea is triggering off those heart palpitations and SVT. So I'm waiting to get scheduled to do a sleep, a sleep study. I've already done one sleep study years ago and I did have it, but they wanted to have some type of surgery on me um, and I wouldn't do it. So I never did go back and I didn't get my CPAP thing machine. So yeah, that was probably not bright, but I was young and having kids and, but yeah, last night was the first one and it was, it wasn't good. But other than that, it's a pretty day outside, and um, yeah, I didn't take my makeup off last night either. Short it, and I was so tired. And I was going to clean some in here, and as far as I got was sweeping. That's all I'm doing. I don't, I ain't fooling with it. Me and my kids will go find something to get into this afternoon here in a little bit. So I'm letting this fry. I'm going to turn it up some. Okay, where's my pretty plate? I'm gonna use one of my pretty plates, if it's big enough. Oh, here it is. I got this one from um, the Goodwill. So I'm gonna put me some food on that, guys. <clears throat> I'll be back. I'm gonna check these and see if these Need to be fit. I don't think I should have added that spray, but this was already kind of greasy, wasn't it? But it'll be all right. I'm gonna turn that back down. So I have some of these. I had bought like, Lord, I don't even know how long ago. They're still good, some of them. So I'm just going to take and cut a few of these tomatoes up and place them on my plate. All this stuff here is cooking. This one's still good, it looks. I mean, I could still eat all of them, but they're kind of, some of them are soft, so I ain't gonna do that. There's like two in here left. It's... And we're going to add some salt on this. gonna do everything bagel but I'm gonna put that on my eggs probably I normally do onion powder and garlic powder on my what you call it just gonna take one of these and put on a paper plate to put this meat in
Yeah, this needs to cook a little bit longer. You can cook this longer. I'm not going to because I have a feeling it might dry out and I don't want it to dry, you know, be real dried out. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. This piece here I kind of messed up, but oh well. There's some little end pieces. So there you have it. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna make probably about two eggs in one. And I'm not even gonna put no um I don't wanna do two. onion powder to this, garlic powder, and then out of my grindy, no here's my grindy pepper. Let's let that cook. So those of you that watch football, who do you think is going to win, Alabama or um, Tennessee? I'm going to root for Tennessee because, you know, I live in Tennessee, and I don't really watch a whole lot of football, but I'm just going to root for Tennessee. So I'm going to say Tennessee, y'all. So go Big Orange. So let this here cook. Gracie and her friends in there asleep. I doubt if they'll eat this. I have bacon in here to warm up. And then I'll throw them and scramble them an egg, but I doubt if they'll eat that stuff. We'll see. <clears throat> My boys used to eat it all the time, but I don't know if they would now. I probably should have let that stay a little bit longer. I love my eggs runny. Uh. Okay. And, oops. I'm going to add a little bit of dill weed. is complete. Now let's get Hey okay, y'all, we are going to <clears throat> do a taste test, kids. but I'm not tired. You ever get like that? Okay, so let's review this beloved spam, kids. Well, if I can get it, hold on. It's hard to do it with one hand. Okay, so here it is. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. 
that's actually good. I mean, it's kind of like the meat's kind of caramelized, like it's kind of crunchy. Well, not crunchy, but crunchy, you know what I mean? Mmm. That's good. I'm not going to eat this whole thing with y'all because I got a movie that I'm watching. I think it's um, Mr. Cargan's phone or something on Netflix. That's what I've been watching. I have like 30 minutes left on it. It's pretty good, but it's kind of freaky. Mmm. I love my eggs runny, y'all. It's the best. I recommend this meat. Oh, I was calling it spam. I think it's like a luncheon top thing, but it's kind of the same thing. Yep. Perfect. That is so good. <clears throat> cheers for the coffee and cheers to happy Saturday. So yeah, that's just some quick ideas from Dollar Tree making breakfast. You can throw in whatever you want, add whatever you want. But you can get quite a bit of food from the the luncheon meat and your eggs. I think the eggs come in like a six pack, so there's six in there. But anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.